Hit me with that good shout out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love how we're not even started and yet he's already <laughs> asking for a plug. What's going on guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions and I have this person that you guys absolutely do not know. Not a clue who I am. I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> What's your name? Wes. What do you do? Weston Moore. Uh, I help people find the best deals on cars. But what did you do today? Yeah, that's what are we going to talk about? Non-car related. Non-car related. So something you guys will like. Some of you, right? If you're part of One Plan Profit, we've talked about Weston before. Um, and he's been trying to kind of just document his progress as a beginner. You know, he lives with me here at the TechBuds house. Um, and he's someone that invests in cars, but you know, just when he tells people that I live with Ricky, uh, like, oh, do you invest in the stock market? And then he's like, no, right? So and they think I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what he started to do is because he's so busy with the flipping rules team, um, he took on swing training. So a lot of people that are you know full time students that have full time jobs, this is probably the most uh, realistic approach, right? Meaning that you don't have to day trade every single day, but you try to identify companies that offer a very consistent uptrend pattern. You find them for a good deal, which then you can buy, hold, and then later sell for a profit. Correct. Simplified or, or swing trading simplified, right? Exactly. What did you do? And and I want to talk about it. What did you do? And you close your position today for a profit. Yes, for a profit. You started, he opened a Robinhood account, so he's not paper trading anymore on the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. We're gonna put some of his screenshots of him, um, you know, the, the entry point for the position and the close so you guys can see. Uh, you made a total of how much? <laughs> six dollars, I profited six bucks. Yeah, so there's no commission on the Robinhood platform, thank God. Uh, thank God. Yeah. I think we're down a dollar. Um, no, with my reduced commission, it would have been uh, at that break even, but not a lot of people have that. So if you were on TD Ameritrade, you would have paid $6.95 per entry and per exit. So you would have been down oh. about $7. All right, all right. <laughs> $8, not bad. So uh, what did you trade? I traded CWT. Um, there are many reasons why I traded it. Yeah. Uh, that we both saw value in. I saw value in it because, in my opinion, it was honestly... To me, it was a more, uh, it was a safer position for me to take because it was consistently uptrending over a long term. Um, That's one of the things that I want to highlight is that CWT um, was showing signs on the 180 day four hour chart as you guys can see right here. It showed signs of a very consistent uptrend pattern. Usually again, when you want to hold something or invest in something and hold it for a you know longer than one day, you want there to be some form of pattern that indicates continuous growth. So I 100% understand why it is that you know you were influenced or intrigued to take that position. What happened to CWT? Um, well, initially I planned for it to recover after it sold off. Um, and it, it may, it probably will recover based on like the previous patterns, but it didn't do it as quick as I planned. Um, and it sold off a little bit more and really percentage wise, I probably should have, you know, sold it cause I think I was down 4% at one point. Yep. Um, you were and, down to about $999 with a yeah. uh, 1000 or you, it was a $1,036 position. Correct? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, I mean, everything that I could up to, you know, maybe like $10 off depending on the stuff. Yeah. Price. So the, the biggest thing that's been going on is like the, mar the market's been very volatile, right? So it, it was showing signs of a consistent uptrend pattern. It pulled back. And just like he said, um, I expected it to, for it to recover. And this is, I want to say a very common, I don't want to say mistake but um, probably not the best habit that you could have when it comes down to wanting to be a successful either day trader or swing trader. One of the things that we like to cover, and I make this mistake all the time, um, especially when I was first getting started, and trust me, we're human, it happens, uh, but we become impatient. We see an opportunity to present itself, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna be like, okay, what well, looks like a good deal, I'm gonna buy now, and it's gonna go up. But sometimes it consolidates, it doesn't go up, it continues to sell off, and the easiest way for me to put it is, like what he said, he expected for it to go up after he bought it. What's one step that you can do, that everybody can do, that it would have been a much more efficient trade is you would have waited for confirmation and instead of expecting for it to recover, actually wait for it to indicate signs of an uptrend. So if there's a reason for every action that you take and it justifies and supports you know, growth, then, then you'll be good, right? So I, I think it just comes down to like, yes, you still ended in the green, um, but I think if you were to have been someone that would have not purchased CWT, but a very common mistake that we're not going to make, 
because when they first get started, because usually you don't invest a lot of money, people try to focus on penny stocks. Right. And, and feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. We tend to focus more on penny stocks because you have a, lo a smaller account value. So you think that you could buy more shares and make more money due to volatility. If you would have implemented the same best practices, I don't want to call them best practices, but the same mistake that you made on CWT and holding it and expecting and hoping that it recovers, because it didn't have to recover. No. It could have continued to sell off. Yeah, the pattern was showing signs of an uptrend based on previous patterns. Patterns tend to repeat themselves, they don't have to. No. CWT, yes, I give you that, that it was showing signs of an uptrend pattern, and normally with time, they do and will end up recovering. So I think you did a good job at least focusing on stocks that showed signs of an uptrend pattern, big Long picture, term, yeah. and you did not focus on a penny stock, because if this was a penny stock, you know, realistically, on average, if you look at them on the 180 day chart, they're consistent descending patterns. So if you would have implemented the same mistake of buying something, hoping that it recovers, but it just continues to sell off, it most likely would have never recovered. Think about all the people that invested in HMNY, right? That invested into DRYS or all those like pump and dumps back then that I don't even know where they're at right now, but also you guys get what I mean, that we could both agree that a mistake that you made is you bought in before the confirmation. Yep. So is that a good implementation of an effective trader? No, I I, it, I was waiting. For, I didn't. The, the confirmation wasn't clear for an uptrend. The easiest example. It was we can, it was borderline. It was consolidated. And I, and I I took it too quickly. The easiest way that we can put it is when it comes down to investing in cars. We buy cars to then sell them for a profit, right? Correct. Let's say that we're getting an inspection on a car that you're about to buy, and even before the inspection that verifies that everything is clear, you're just like, I'll buy it. And then as soon as you buy it, inspection then, it the inspection is bad and it says like, oh, it needs a new engine. And you're just like, what if you would have just taken the extra step of waiting for the confirmation, right, of that uptrend. And it really just comes down to being a more efficient trader, being a more efficient investor. When it comes down to waiting for the confirmation that the car is not bad and that it passes the inspection, then you're like, okay, great, I'll take it. If they say no, then okay, didn't confirm, I'll move on to the next one. Yep. Right? Yep. And it's just that efficiency aspect. So again, one thing that I do agree that you did well is that you focus on the stock that was showing signs of an uptrend pattern. So you see that you saw that that helped you out on this aspect. Correct. Um, but one thing that we don't want to do again is hold something and hope that it actually recovers. Because most of the time, in my experience, and as you've seen, it doesn't actually recover. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay, so we wanted to talk about maybe a swing trade that you're going to take next. Do you have an idea of maybe two or three that you're currently watching? Um, I know uh, DWT, I honestly went into the Discord to also get second opinions in the swing chat. Yeah. And um, I was looking at a bunch of different ones. I, I don't have a clear one right now. Okay. Um, but honestly, if you guys would like wanna, you know. Yeah, feel free to share maybe something that you see valid for a potential swing trade. Feel free to comment it down below in the ticker call out format. Uh, I'll make we're, a video we're talking about it. Tesla. Yeah. I said that Tesla was still a little bit more on the overbought side. We talked about DWT just based off my experience. This is something that I'm potentially considering for a one day swing trade. It's gonna be very similar to my swing trade that I took. If I'm not mistaken on UWT, that made me over $10,000. Um, I don't expect the same thing to happen, but you know, forward slash CL, which means that UWT pushed up about 10% today. We were having issues all day here at the TechBuds house with our internet. Um, and during our Learn Plan Profit live stream, I do apologize, uh, we could not go live. I tried to go live three times and my internet was so bad that my TD Ameritrade and that live stream was crashing. So I uh, didn't trade at all today, but it's pre uh, it's after market hours and I see it really, as you can see right here, yep. forward slash CL is building a resistance. And because it's building a resistance, then that means that potentially DWT is building a support. So I might be influenced or at least intrigued to take a swing trade position. My boy's always clocked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, be on it, yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure that they do. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit more about um, when it comes down to getting started, you know, not only uh, and kind of referring back to the trade. Yes, you came out on top. You made money on it, right? Mm -hmm. um, talking about, you know, what you could have done better, but also what you did well. It's a refinement. You practice it, and now it's refining that, and then moving on to the next trade and just doing it a little bit better than you did the time before. I think that we can both agree that it's not 
being a perfect trader, that's the goal, but it's getting as close to perfect as possible. Yeah. That's our overall end game, right? So oh, exactly. Um, I do want to give Weston a huge shout. If you guys would like to see more videos with Weston and I, uh, be sure to drop a thumbs up. I also want to invite you to subscribe to his channel. Not only does he make videos about investing in cars, but if you want to follow his progress as a beginner Robin Hood swing trader, so if any of that meets your and sets interest, be sure to click that first link down in the description. That's gonna be his channel. Follow him, ask him questions, give him some pieces of advice, tell him that you like his shirt, ask him, <laughs> ask him why he's on Tinder. Um, no, no. Um, but uh, at the very end of the day, again, guys, it's all about enjoying the process and always just every single day becoming a little bit uh, a little bit more of a better version of yourself than you were the day before. So really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hope we earned your thumbs up. Again, be sure to subscribe to not only Weston, but this channel as well. And if you guys want to join our free Facebook group with over 212,000 members, TechBot Solutions, the largest one out there for those who trade in the stock market, that's going to be that second link in the description. We'll see the Learn Plan Profit members tomorrow in our live trading session. Like always, continue working hard, continue following dreams, let your passion build drive some success. Wagon City, Tinder, let's <laughs> no, no. like, 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 like,